Why are there only five platonic solids? The platonic solids must consist of regular polygons. We'll start with the simplest regular polygon, the triangle. If we start with one triangle, we can't build anything. If we have two, we can't create a solid. So we need three triangles to create the first vertex of a solid. These line up nicely to create the tetrahedron. The tetrahedron consists of four triangle faces. It has four vertices and six edges. So the tetrahedron was formed with three triangles. What shape will be formed if we add a fourth triangle? When we close the gap, the faces form the vertex of an octahedron. The octahedron consists of eight triangle faces. It has six vertices and 12 edges. So far, we have created two of the platonic solids with triangles. Can we create another if we add a fifth triangle? Notice that the gap is getting smaller. This is the icosahedron. The icosahedron consists of a total of 20 triangle faces. It has 12 vertices and 30 edges. If we continue to add another triangle, we won't be able to form a vertex. Because the six triangles form a plane, there are no gaps to close. So using the triangle, we were able to form three of the platonic solids. The next regular polygon we will use is the square. We'll start off with three squares to form a vertex. When we close the gap, we form the hexahedron or cube. The hexahedron consists of six square faces. It has eight vertices and 12 edges. If we continue to add another square, will we be able to construct another solid? The fourth square completely closes the gap and it becomes a plane. Therefore, there are no more solids we can create with the square. The next polygon we will use is the pentagon. The pentagon contains five sides, but will it close evenly to form a solid? The three pentagons close to form the vertex of a dodecahedron. The dodecahedron consists of 12 pentagon faces. It has 20 vertices and 30 edges. Notice that the gap is too small to fit another pentagon. Therefore, there are no more solids we can create with the pentagon. If we continue with the hexagon, three hexagons actually form a plane and there are no gaps to close. And if we continue with regular polygons with more than six sides, such as the heptagon with seven sides, the polygons will just begin to overlap. This pattern will continue for all polygons with more than six sides. Therefore, these are the only five platonic solids that exist. If you're interested in a hands-on learning experience with the platonic solids, check out my shop. Link in the description.